My name is JT, and this is a story how I built my camper van. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JT Time. JT here. Um, we are back at the van today, and uh, today what I'm going to be doing is installing a, I think it's called a hangover ladder on the van. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, this is it right here. Uh, essentially, it just kind of hinges or hangs up here on this little upper ledge and then it gets bolted down to the very base right here. Uh, it's just kind of free hanging right now. I haven't, I haven't installed it yet, but uh, I'm gonna go over that. Uh, let's go over the tools that you'll need for this. Uh, the first thing that you'll need is a drill, of course. Um, you'll need a Phillips head or whatever screws that you use to mount it. It does come with some uh, Phillips screws, but I'm actually not gonna use what it came with. The hardware that it came with isn't the best, and I, I got this off of Amazon. I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the description in case you guys wanna install the same one. But uh, I'm gonna reinforce it a different way, because if you look at the reviews, a lot of people are like, ah, this needs to be reinforced, this needs to be reinforced. Like, the, the the, the hardware that just came with it wasn't enough, so I have some ideas for how to reinforce it. Um, you can use a tape measure, that'll definitely help. Um, you need a drill bit that will go over metal. I have this little one that steps and it's really, really handy. Um, you need some wood glue and some like scrap pieces of wood, preferably something long enough to span the entire length. I just had some trim pieces that uh, have left over from the house. I'm, I'm, as you can see, I'm trying to use as much scrap as possible, but that fits almost perfectly right there. Yeah, and then right there. So I'm gonna put this piece of wood on the other side of this, and I'm gonna reinforce it with this T right here. So uh, the only thing you really need to know from me is you need to make sure, you can use whatever scrap pieces of wood you want, but the key here is that the, the width of it needs to be three inches and three sixteenths. Three sixteenths, so it's in between one eighth and, one, and three sixteenths, yeah? So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this right here in the dead center of it, right here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna slide into the door and it's going to, this is gonna butt up against this surface right here and this plate is going to be against that wall and that's essentially what i'm going to screw into and that's what's going to hold the hold the uh the the ladder in place all right so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Okay, so all I was really doing there was I was bending it so that initially the way it it's set is it's set down here and this lip is just not what I want. This bump right here, I can see on the inside and I can tell that just underneath that bump is uh, within the cavity still. So that's kind of where I want to set my screws at. So I'm gonna set it right here and then I have a permanent marker that I'm just gonna mark these holes at. That way I can drill into it and uh, and see where I need to install that block. So let's do it. Alright guys, so that's how you do it. Um, I did use some additional miter products that I didn't mention earlier at the beginning of the video. Um, the first thing that I used was uh, the Stun FYX Ultra DAP. It's just really window, door, and siding and, and trim kind of uh, silicone sealer pretty much, sealant. And uh, you're really just looking for something that's like flexible, that, that works outdoors 
and something to seal up uh, these type of gaps um, and holes that you're actually making in your van. Um, so essentially you saw me show you earlier I put the piece of wood here I put the T so it's butted up against that and it's pinned right against this wall right here so essentially it's kind of reinforcing this uh, metal right here and I just put in some screws on this side just to hold it in place really even though I don't think it's going to be moving anywhere there is a little bit of a gap underneath at the very very bottom here that I will plan on filling with uh, insulation whenever I insulate these doors um, but for the most part I just screwed it in with some wood screws um, and then I silicone sealed over the top the two sides but I kept the bottom open I used the same strategy as you know sealing windows essentially which you, to, to seal windows most of the time you seal the top the two sides but you always want to keep the bottom open and the reason why you want to do that is because you want to always assume your windows are going to leak sooner or later and if they do leak you want to give it a path for water to come out and drip out at so if this were to ever leak and allow water to come in this is going to still allow the water to continue to come out in the event that that ever happens and i did the same thing over here as well and of course i did the same thing up there on those two as well those screws up there weren't as important just because it's already being supported by the hook and um, because it's being supported by that hook that screw is just really there just to kind of clamp uh, keep the clamp where it's at essentially and keep it from falling off so hope you guys enjoyed it hope you all learned something and you know maybe one day you want to install a ladder on your uh, on your van as well Serco products line is the brand I forgot how much I paid for it it was on Amazon it came in pretty quick and uh, pretty simple to install as you can see so hope you enjoyed see you guys real soon here on JT time